Hey guys, how's it going? So today we are going to be building a bubble dome tiny home community in The Sims 4. And if you don't know what the bubble domes are, I will show you what I mean. These are some examples of like the bubble domes that I want to build, but I want them to be fully functioning like tiny home villages. My idea was originally to build a restaurant. We could totally still do that, but I want to build this style in like a tiny home community. So how we're going to do this, I'm going to show you guys how to build the bubble dome first of all so we are going to go to the walls and empty rooms tab we are going to grab this little rounded platform here we're gonna copy and paste these so we have this little like half circle moment there we go <laughs> I've also laid out my terrain already just as kind of like a guideline on where I want my tiny homes to be but then we're gonna go ahead and take that half circle put it together and for me I want my shape to be kind of like that so this is gonna be the shape of our tiny homes I'm gonna go ahead I think I want to do four I want them to to be close together but not too close they're gonna be separated by trees and tons of landscaping that I think is gonna be the general layout of where I want my tiny homes to be and then the way that I'm gonna make the dome effect I'm gonna show you guys and then kind of delete it because it's not what we are going to do yet it's gonna be kind of like the last final thing but I'll show you how we're gonna do it we're gonna grab this rounded like circular roof piece pull it all the way across and make it like a bubble and then we're gonna go into our roof paint and we have all of these options for what kind of roof we want to go for. I haven't decided if I want to do just clear or like something like this maybe might look cool. I'm not sure yet, but that is how we do that. <laughs> I'm going to delete that um, until probably the end, but that's what we're going to do. And then also to make it functional, I'm going to put ladders behind each of these and underneath I'm going to build a basement where we're going to have the kitchen, the bathroom for sure, because I don't want the bathroom to be like wide open in a bubble. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to use my basement tool underneath those and that's how we're going to make fully functioning little tiny homes. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm going to grab my platform like paint. <laughs> what is this even called? Platform trims. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on from Get Famous around all of them. I'm also going to put a little fence, I think. I wanna use this one here, this base game one, and I'm gonna put that all around each side here. This is just because when we put the roof, there's gonna be kind of like a little gap and I wanna hide that. It's not gonna be perfect with our platform, but this is gonna kind of hide that. So we have our fence all the way around. I am going to put the ladders behind. So I'm going to get my basement tool and kind of just go like this. I think this is gonna be like the extent of how big these are going to be. <laughs> Maybe a little bit bigger on the back part here because we need the ladder to like get down there. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna put my ladders here and then I'm also gonna have to put another one on the other side so you can actually get into the dome because if the roof piece is there, I don't think you can get into it. My ladders are gonna be there. I'm gonna kind of hide them so that they don't look so strange right now without the landscaping and everything it looks a little weird but I'm also going to move them over to the far point of my bubble and this is how they're gonna actually get up there <laughs> cool okay so far this looks so bad <laughs> I'm gonna start my landscaping just so we kind of get the vibe a little bit better here so I'm gonna start I think I want to match the landscaping that's going on around me I'm building in Glimmerbrook so I'm gonna use a lot of pine trees little trees like this and I also want each dome to be kind of private so so I'm gonna kind of go around each one and make sure that it's covered up from the other one. Fun fact, while I'm doing this, I've actually stayed in one of these before. You know when you find these pictures on like Pinterest or Tumblr, Instagram, and then you see like people living in these little like bubble domes in the winter time and stuff. <gasps> I should put this in the winter. Maybe I'll switch it to winter later on. <laughs> but I, I saw those and I, I was like on a mission to find one one time. So my boyfriend and I went on a trip and we actually found one and it's so cool because at nighttime you can see like the stars and the dome and it was really cool how they did it. I'm kind of currently just working on the landscaping. I'm making sure that we extend it all the way around the whole lot and I am planning on doing little like not like backyard situations but maybe some outdoor fireplaces, some outdoor seating areas, dining, things like that. So I'm leaving room for little things like that. I'm also making sure that with my landscaping I leave room for the sims to actually like get back to their ladder. <laughs> that is something I'm definitely guilty of is over landscaping and then finding out that my sims can't go around like the flower. I keep wanting to make a tutorial on landscaping for you guys because I feel like I always do this super quick and then you guys end up asking me like what I'm doing. So what I normally do, another tip, I think I gave another tip in my last video, but what I like to do is pick like four or maybe five plants like maximum and do just those plants around. Unless I'm going for like extravagant, but like the plants that I'm using right now are this one, this one, this one, and this one, and maybe some grass pieces and like that's pretty much it. 
it. <laughs> and that'll keep your whole build looking kind of like consistent. <laughs> Again, obviously, unless that's the look you're going for, which I definitely do sometimes myself. But for this build particularly, I am just going for these because I am gonna have a lot of like things going on around and I don't wanna take away from that with the landscaping. So I think I might um stop for a sec. I'm also, what I'm imagining is like lining these pathways with candles. So I'm gonna grab the ones from Dine Out. I kind of like to use these ones for outdoors. They're simple. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of line up my little pathway with these. And then at night, this is gonna look so cute. Ooh, look how magical. I like it. Okay, so I'm also gonna use some toddler lights around the back part here to kind of like connect like as if they were in the trees. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my toddler light and just kind of like stick them, make it look like they're connected. Luckily, we have tons of trees. So this is gonna be pretty easy to not have to worry about putting like the other pole. <laughs> okay, I've got my toddler lights for now. I'm gonna start doing some of the little backyards. So what I wanna do is grab the snowy escape fireplace. Probably one of my favorite fireplaces in the whole game. It's so pretty and this is such a fire hazard, I know. But I'm gonna kinda like stick that back there. Maybe I'll move my trees over just a little bit. And I think I'm gonna use a few of these. Maybe I will like change up the colors, make them slightly different here and there. But I do want this whole build to look very consistent. So I'm not gonna change much. So cute fireplaces in there. Maybe I can change up my seating. Like I can use a couple stools from Jungle Adventure for some of them. My personal favorite for builds like this is using the stumps. I like putting those outside. I think that looks kind of cool. Or we could change it up using these little like log things. And I think all of these different kinds of like seating are still gonna look good together. And then for all of these, I think what I wanna use as alternate lighting is the lanterns. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those. I think they're from, the ones that I wanna use are from Perfect Patio, which I use these all the time. They're so freaking adorable. I'm just gonna put these around and maybe change the size of some of them like that. This is gonna look so pretty when it's done. Maybe I could upload this even as like a resort. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. It could be a resort. It could be a tiny home community. We'll see. Either way, it's gonna be cute. <laughs> okay, the landscaping on this is so freaking adorable. Let's do a little tour, little walkthrough. Look at these little backyards. I think the lights around also kind of provide like a little bit of a barrier almost. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my actual homes because when we have the, the dome and the lighting in there is gonna look so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, I guess my basements. So let's get a layout going. Let's get some lighting down here. It looks so sad compared to upstairs. The main things I wanna make sure we have down here are definitely gonna be bathroom and kitchen, I think. So I'm gonna just start on the first one. I don't know what kind of like vibe I'm gonna go for. I want it to be cottage core, but also kind of like modern because I feel like this is like the future of camping and stuff nowadays, especially. Actually, my friend recently went to a restaurant like this and instead of having like outdoor dining like they normally would with these times, they had these like bubble dome. That was where you would like go and eat. So cottage core, but make it modern. So I think what I'm gonna do is my kitchen maybe over here on this side and then maybe a little dining table or something over there and our bathroom in this corner. So I'm gonna get my kitchen stuff. For this one, I think I'm definitely gonna use this one from base game. I like that one a lot. And then for my counters, let's maybe use like jungle adventure. Maybe somehow, the thermostat here can control the entire heating and air conditioning of the dome. Mine had that. It was so cool how they did it. It was like air suctioned in and like if you open the door, you had to like open it really quickly and it was really cool how they did it. So I'm thinking this is kind of the look that I'm going for. Doing some eco lifestyle stuff here and there, some jungle adventure stuff. I'm gonna clutter out my shelves. I think that's gonna be it for my kitchen. I like the way that looks. I do have this little shelf over here too and I'm gonna do a small dining room table over here. I'm assuming you would maybe only have like a couple people coming in here like I don't think you would maybe have a family going on in here you might but I kind of think I might be aiming a little bit more for like retreat style here like vacation thing so that can be our dining area maybe I'll put a rug kind of just underneath to pull it together or something cute I like this I like the style of this build I think I'm gonna add maybe just a couple more plants then we can do the bathroom and then we can go upstairs I'm most excited to do like the upstairs of these because obviously that's gonna be what is showing mostly so let's do our bathroom I'm gonna get some tiles yeah, this is definitely a lot nicer than the one that I stayed in, that is for sure. We didn't have a bath, we didn't have, I don't think we even had like a, a flushing toilet. <laughs> yeah, this looks like real cozy in here, this nice little bathroom. I think I'm gonna put up a shelf so that I can have some candles in here. That's gonna maybe bring it together and a picture or something on the wall. Super cute, that is gonna be our little bathroom. And that is it for the downstairs in this one. I think I'm going to go upstairs and we can finally work on the dome. So the only thing I'm gonna have to work on is flooring.
boring. And I think up here I'm gonna do the bedroom slash like living room. So let's pick a bed. Maybe for some of these we can also change it up too. Like maybe some of these will have the bedrooms up top. Maybe some of them will have the dining room. I mean, it depends. I think normally they have the, the bedroom. I think that's normally like the go-to, but I think it might be kind of fun if we switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna use some of these lanterns again. We're gonna have little plants in here and this is gonna be so cute. I can't wait to put the dome on. We are gonna be restricted a little bit. Like I can't really put a mirror, like I was gonna use a jungle adventure mirror leaning against something, but we can't really do that. I'm gonna have to do like stand up mirrors, but it's okay. I think it's gonna turn out. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to be careful with the structure of the actual dome. I need to make sure it's not gonna hit like my items. <laughs> I need more lighting in here. It's so dark. I'm gonna have to use my lanterns all over, I think. This is gonna be my main source of like lighting in here. Luckily, I think they still look super cute when you like size them down and like put them beside each other. I think they look kind of adorable paired together like that. I want to see what it looks like with the dome. Let me see, let me see. Oh God, I think we might run into some problems. Oh no. Okay, it looks adorable, but there's a few issues, um, including the fact that I'm gonna have to shrink it all in a little bit. <laughs> and I think we still need more lighting. Yeah, there's a lot of things poking out. Oh no, okay. Yeah, we have to be conscious about what we're putting, I guess. Oh wait, where's my ladder? Ooh, that's gonna be tricky too. Okay, maybe I'm gonna have to move my ladder in a little. I have to change my whole layout because I'm pretty sure in order for this to work, the ladder has to be directly in the center of this little circle. Okay, we're almost all in except for the bed. I think I have to change my bed. So I'm thinking the way that I'm gonna have to make this work is not using a double bed. I'm gonna have to use a single bed. So I don't think I'm gonna do a top bedroom for each one. Maybe we'll do two bedrooms and two like kitchens or something. So because this one doesn't actually have like a living room, I'm gonna go into debug. I'm gonna find one of these cute little TVs, put that on there. Yes, that is a fire hazard, but the, your Sims will be fine. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna add a little bit more lighting because it was kind of dark in here. And there we go. That took a little more maneuvering than I would have wanted it to. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other bedroom one, maybe back there. And then for these two, we can do the kitchen or living room up top. So I'm gonna quickly do the bedroom one back there, the same as I did this one. And then we will do the other type of bubble. <laughs> I finally got it. And over here, we've got the other one, which I changed up the swatches like a little bit. They're pretty much the same tiny homes, but they are slightly different different in color swatches. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. So it does take a little bit of maneuvering when you're doing this because you have to like place the roof and then the ladders and it's just kind of like time consuming a little bit, but it is working out and looking really cute so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one here, which this one we're gonna have the kitchen up top and we're gonna see if that works a little better than the way that we've been doing it with the bedrooms. So downstairs, hopefully we can do like a double bed moment. <laughs> I'm also gonna arrange my ladders first this time we are learning. So. For my bed for down here, I want to use something, it has to be cozy. I was thinking this, but now that I think about it, I kind of want to use the city living one with the big canopy. I think that might look kind of cute in here, so we'll do that. I can definitely change out the bedrooms for the other one now that I have a little more room to work with. As kind of a divider, we could use this, maybe put that there. Hopefully they can get back there behind that bed. Then I can put a couch here and an actual like TV. I feel like this way we might have a little more room. I might be speaking too soon though. I hope the kitchen works upstairs. Oh, this one's gonna be so cute. I already think this one's gonna be my favorite. Look at how cute this little bedroom like living room combo is. I really like this. That's gonna be my dresser over there. I need to put a plant. In this one, I'm gonna do a shower. I'm really loving the like gray and brown color scheme we're kind of going with. I think I'm gonna maybe put up, I don't know, like a shelf. This is huge. This towel is always massive. I'm thinking like the tiny living shelf, but I don't know if it's gonna match. We can try it. I kind of think that like grayish, bluish, purple <laughs> might kind of work out with that. So that's gonna be our downstairs. Let's go up and okay. Hope that my kitchen will work around this. The hardest part is that ladder in the middle, I swear. Okay, so, so far this is how I've laid out my kitchen. I've got my oven and little counter on this side. I have my sink and other little counter and my fridge, my garbage. There is no way that I'm gonna be able to clutter this up. <laughs> I'm really hoping I can get my dining table over here. I'm gonna try. This might have been a bad idea. We have not figured that out yet. I'm gonna play test this too because I'm really interested to see how this is gonna go. <laughs> it works! Okay, so I'll show you what I have just done. So I have my little dining room table 
table here. I have my fridge, which I didn't like what was going on on the back of this thing. So I kind of just raised up some of these boards from Eco Lifestyle to cover it up. Now that I know I have my dining, I have my kitchen, I'm going to add my lighting and I am not gonna get too crazy with the decorations. I'm gonna maybe put a rug and just be very careful because I don't want to mess up the functionality that is happening right now. So I'm gonna take some candles. I'm going to light this thing up. So this is how I've kind of attempted to decorate this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and add my dome. There we go, that's so cool. I love this. Look how like magical this little place looks. Okay, so yeah, that is gonna be the basics in there. I might try and go in and add some more like lighting. That is the issue I'm running into. I wish these were lit up a little bit more, but let's see like in different times of the day. Like look how cute. It's just so pretty. I love this a lot. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with this dome for that one here. And then I might add a few more decorations here and there to our little dome tiny home village. And that is gonna be it. So I'm finished. I'm in live mode. <laughs> I thought this would be so cute in the winter, but look at it. You can't even see the roofs are just so covered. But I mean, the landscaping in general, like this is like a winter wonderland. I'm going to get out of here and change the season. <laughs> okay, look how freaking cute this looks in the fall. I'm dead. It's like snowing just a little bit. I need Johnny to go in there before it starts snowing like crazy. So let's just try and get down here first of all. <laughs> oh yes, he's definitely gonna be able to go down here. Okay, and then so he can get up here. The only annoying thing is like you can't really click through the roof. So I mean, if he was on autoplay and just wanted to come up here and go to sleep, I think it would work. But that is so cool. I love this little build. Look how freaking cute this is, especially in the fall right now. That is adorable. Okay, it automatically got so much cuter with the leaves on the ground. Look how freaking adorable this looks. I'm so obsessed with our tiny home bubble community. I feel like it looks so cute with the lights and the leaves on the floor. I'm so happy we tried to do this in live mode because now it looks so good. I wish we had terrain paint for leaves. Just a little side note, but this is the final result of our bubble tiny home community. Let me know what you guys think. I will put this on the gallery under Sydney Macarada and yeah, that is all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.